Good morning, Snapchat, and yes, it is still morning here in California. It's Athena Crosby, Miss California Teen USA, and I'll be taking over. So if you guys are wondering, yes, I am still in my room. My day usually doesn't start until later, but I'm ready to put some makeup on and get the day started. Just as a reminder, please feel free to send me any questions. You can also send me snaps with questions. I will try my best to answer as many of them if you guys have any, so hit me up. Chris Nieves, I think I said that right, asks who will be performing at Miss Teen USA. Well, we actually don't know. We haven't heard anything other than where it'll be. We Love Guacamole, nice username by the way, asked me what my favorite TV show is, and I actually love Food Network, so I would have to say Iron Chef America. In my heart, I really, really do believe that another major country outside of the United States is going to be next for a terrorist attack by ISIS. So I think that the U.S. and the U.N. and any other major power in the world, or even countries that aren't, you know, considered major powers, need to come together and find some sort of solution. Some of my snaps aren't uploading, which is really annoying, but I was asked how I felt about the Orlando shooting, and that's what the previous snaps were responding to. Also asked what kind of music I like. Well, to be honest, I kind of like everything, but I am from the Bay Area, so hip-hop and R&B is definitely part of my blood. How do I feel about competing at Miss Teen USA? <laughs> when I started competing at Miss California USA, I was actually 14, so I tried four times before I actually won. But when I was younger, I did do a couple of natural pageants, and I think that's kind of what got me hooked. I loved it, so I'm still at it. Somebody asked me, who are you? <laughs> well, if you didn't already see, I'm Athena, Miss California Teen USA. And getting to do swimsuit and, you know, runway walk and evening gown and walking the stage because you kind of feel like you're a star. So that was my answer to what's your favorite part about pageants is getting to do the runway walk because you feel like you're a celebrity and it's all that stuff. But my snaps won't post. Sammy for Hollywood asked me what my platform would be if I were to win Miss Teen USA and that would definitely be inclusion for people with disabilities. I actually have a little brother, Adrian, who is high-functioning autistic, so I've gotten to, to work with him firsthand and, you know, witness the amount of need that he has. And I think a lot of other people are in need too, but they don't have, you know, a support system like Adrian does. He has a really big family, so I want to bring awareness to that and hopefully help people. Sam asked me what my favorite accent is, and it's probably, like, Crocodile Dundee, like, Crikey's, we found another one! And also, my favorite animal is a chicken. And yes, I'm actually not vegetarian, I do eat chicken, but I love chickens in real life too, so I think that's okay. Anthony asked me to wink at the camera, so there you go. Yes, I did go to Miss USA and I did get to check out the Venetian. We actually saw a show called Human Nature Jukebox there and it's a really nice hotel, so I'm pumped. Courtney asked me, what advice do I have for someone who's starting in pageants? And I know that everybody says, oh, just be confident, be yourself. But I think that the most important piece of advice is actually, don't be afraid to lose. I did not win my first pageant. And if I would have given up, then I would not be where I am today. So don't be afraid to lose. It's okay. Sushi Boy actually messaged me from Germany. So hello to everybody watching from Germany. He asked me, how hot is it in California right now? So let's go outside and check it out. What the heck are you watching? <laughs> it's a gorgeous day in Cali. Beautiful, sunny, perfect. Love living here. 
Somebody asked me if anyone's ever said I look like Nia Sanchez, and I actually haven't got that, but I do get Katy Perry a lot. Someone asked me if I get nervous when it comes to pageants, and yes, I definitely do get nervous, especially right when I'm about to go on stage. I'm like, ah! I got started in pageants when I was a little bit younger. I actually got a brochure in the mail to do a pageant. And then I was like, hey mom, can I do this pageant? And she was like, sure, why not? And so then I did it and it's all history from there. It was awesome. Give me a pineapple is from Croatia. So shout out to people in Croatia watching. I'm glad that you guys are invested in Miss Teen USA. And then I do my eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil. I am not a fan of the overly done on fleek eyebrows that's popular now, so I like something more natural. I definitely curl my eyelashes and put uh, mascara on. Sometimes I put on fake eyelashes like today, and then I usually don't wear lipstick or lip gloss at all, but today a little bit of lip liner. Holly Renee asked me what kind of makeup I use, and I actually... My little brother's watching YouTube and it's so loud. I actually use a lot of over-the-counter drugstore brands. I love CVS, I don't like spending money on makeup, and usually you can get the same look for less. Someone asked me what I thought about Pia, Miss Universe, and I think she's really cool. I think she's hot, and she's very in touch with her, you know, background, and she is very patriotic to the Philippines, which I love. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, my dad actually lived in the Philippines for two years, so I love Filipino people. Jamie from California asked me if I would ever compete for Miss California USA and to be honest I have to see how Miss Teen USA goes because if I were to win Miss Teen USA I think I'd make that my last pageant and then if I don't win maybe I'll compete again in the future. Trin from Oklahoma asked me what kind of lipstick I'm wearing and I'm actually not wearing any lipstick um, just a little bit of lip liner from I think L'Oreal. That's about it. What do I think about Nadia's answer at Miss USA? Well, I think she actually had a good answer. I think she got a little choked up and that was obvious, but if you listen to her answer at the end, it's not bad. Valerie asked me, um, how did I get started in the Miss Teen USA system? Well, I actually watched Miss Universe on TV when I was younger and I was like, oh my God, I want to be Miss Universe one day. So I signed up for Miss California Teen USA and then I kept competing and then I won. Somebody asked me if I have good confidence. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I guess. So my brother was really confused as to what I was doing. So this is my brother, everybody. Miss Teen California's brother. Follow him on IG at Alston Crosby. Someone asked me if I play any sports. Um, no, <laughs> I wish I'm not athletic at all. I'm, I was a swimmer for six years though. Somebody asked me, um, can I sing and what's my favorite song? Well, yes, I actually do sing. And my favorite song is an 80s song called Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Hey, nighty night and kiss me. Just hold me tight and tell me you miss me. For freedom and for pleasure, nothing ever lasts forever. Everybody. Someone asked me what product I use in my hair, and I use this thing over here. Um, it's by Olea, and it's a hair serum. Lisa from the Netherlands asked me what my favorite song at the moment is, and it would probably be Brand New by Ben Rector. Okay, two people so far have asked me to dab on camera, so I'll give you what you want. <laughs> I think I have a lot of interesting, you know, credentials. I come from a really cool area, I have a really cool familiar background, and I think that I would bring a lot of original insight to Miss Universe. I struggle with a lot of acne, believe it or not. I mean, I look like it because my makeup is good, but I use a lot of acne products um, to try and get rid of it. And thank you for the love from the Netherlands. How's it going, everyone? Austin Crosby here, Dean Crosby's brother. I just wanted to walk into her room because I just hear her talking to herself, so... I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the people! <laughs> Taylor asked me, oh my gosh, my brother is super loud. Be quiet, Austin. Anyways, Taylor asked me if I have a boyfriend. I do got a boo. <laughs> Hello, Jose from Guatemala. And si, sí, yo puedo hablar un poquito de español, pero tengo que practicar porque yo tengo un acento americano. Anthony N10 asked me what my type is when it comes to guys. And 
you know, honestly, I'm not that picky. Um, the most important thing is that they're understanding because Anna from Rhode Island asked me what my favorite subject is, and it's definitely music. I love band. Um, and I actually just graduated class of 2016. Ethan from Wisconsin asked me if I like to surf, and granted, I'm from California. I should know how to surf, but I don't know how to surf. Oh. Lauren, my advice for you competing in Miss Gadsden County's Outstanding Teen is make sure that you're well-versed on current events. I know Miss America is huge in that. What color is my dress for Miss Teen USA? Um, I don't know. It's one of the colors on this nightstand. Which one is it? Well, you guys, I've actually been answering questions for like two hours. I'm about to go to my high school to return some textbooks because I'm a bad student and I didn't return them. Arizona asks me what's something that goes on backstage that no one knows about. Well, actually, there's always cameras backstage, and um, there's people recording your every move, so if you make it to Miss Teen USA. Hi, Mark from Florida. Um, I actually stay in shape with my trainer, Steve. I do a lot of boxing. Um, I do a lot of cardio, but also a little bit of weightlifting. I have lived in San Jose my entire life, but I was actually Miss Santa Monica Team USA and I lived there for part of the year and I, now I also live in San Diego part of the year with my director. Someone asked me a really interesting question. It's true, the winners from Miss California USA and Miss California Team USA received two crowns, so I've received two crowns this year. Well, yay! Um, just to clarify, I do not get to keep both of the crowns. I get to keep the MUO crown, but the Legacy crown, which is designed by Peter Young of Into Gems and Diamonds, it was designed by Peter earlier um, for the Love is Louder movement. That's something that he and the Miss California organization are both very passionate about. And so although the crown used to be used in the ceremonies at the end of the pageant, they are retired, so they are not being used to crown the girls anymore. But we do get to wear them on occasion um, for photo shoots and things like that. They are an emblem of the past uh, years of Miss California, and it's we wear it like a piece of jewelry. So long story short, I'm actually using one of my old phones now because my phone is acting up for some reason and this phone is super saturated, so if I look orange. So I hate to leave the fun, but I'm actually on my way to work. Don't worry, I'm not driving anywhere yet. Um, so I will be snapping you guys in a couple hours when I'm off. So I'm on break at work and my favorite thing to do on break is actually go to the Mexican restaurant next door and get chips and salsa because I'm hungry. We got Maya over there working in the corner. Say hi to the people of Snapchat, Maya. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> Some of you guys were asking me what I do at the store. Well, I actually am an assistant manager, so I close the store and balance all the things at the end of the night and uh, help. Just got off of work, yes. So now I'm gonna be home, and after that, I will have a couple of errands to run once I get home. So for those of you who don't know where San Jose is, it's in the South Bay. I'm about 20 minutes from the beach, an hour from San Francisco, two hours from snow, two hours from the desert. I mean, come on, it can only get so much prettier than this. So my mom is on the floor trying to spray me with a hose right now. 
Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Sophia from Argentina asked me if I were to be in the top two, who would I want the other girl to be? And I don't really know. I like everybody. I don't really care. Anna from Tennessee asked me if I could live in any other state besides California, where would I live? And I would have to say Utah, Florida, or Montana. I love those places. My favorite MUO title holders would have to be Tammy Farrow, Miss Teen USA 2003, Diana Mendoza, Miss Universe 2008, and I like every Miss Universe. <laughs> Everybody, this is my super sweet abuelita, and she handmade me this shirt. Muestralo, abuelita. I can. Uh... How cute is this? Good job. Mm. Michelle from Las Vegas is turning 20 tomorrow, so happy birthday. And my favorite movie is the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So I got a little bit lazy and I didn't go over to my friend's house to return his pants and that sounds kind of weird, let me explain. But my friend Eric is actually a ballroom dancer and someone I knew was trying on a couple of his old pairs of ballroom dance pants so I brought them and I'm giving them. So instead he is here now and he is about to pick up his pants and here are all his pants. There's three pairs. So I'm actually on my way to take you guys to what I consider, what everybody considers, a California staple, In-N-Out Burger. Okay, so the drive through line is super long. This is one of the things I don't like about living in California is there's traffic everywhere. The ugliest part about pageants, I guess, would have to be anything dealing with money. That's kind of how it is in any realm, like whether it's sports or anything. When money gets tough, things can get kind of complicated and a lot of it has to do with sponsorships and things like that, so sometimes it can make pageants really tough. My favorite Drake song would probably be Best I Ever Had. That song is still a classic. Go Dubs! Oh, I shook it off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, I am officially back home. I have had a long day, but I think I've gotten around to everybody's questions. I know there may have been a couple that have slipped, um, but I had a hard time earlier posting my snaps. They would not upload to my story for some reason. But I am going to call in a night. I had a great time taking over the Snapchat today. You guys are so much fun. I had so much fun with all of you. It's so nice to see fans and, you know, friends and people from all over the world. I mean, people have talked to me from every corner. In support of my dream and the dream of so many other girls, which is to compete for Miss Teen USA 2016. It's an awesome opportunity. I'm so, so, so grateful. And just wanted to say, guys, remember to keep following me. If you want to keep following me on my road to Miss Teen USA, be sure to follow me on all my personal accounts, which I'll be posting right